Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is part two of my platformer tutorial series. Sorry, I haven't posted in like a few weeks. It stuff basically. So in this video, we're going to be going over how you can make ladders and uh, jump through platforms. So this will be a bit of a shorter one, but hopefully it will still be helpful. So we're just going to add an object. We're going to make a jump through platform first. Um, I'm going to well, you can make this either. I'm going to make it a sprite, and you, you can make it a, a tile object if you want. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to make it a sprite. I'm going to call it, uh, let's just call it uh, jump through, just for simplicity. And let's just grab ourselves the, the art for it. So... Uh, I linked the uh, art in the last uh, video, but I'll link it again in this one, just in case you didn't get it. So that's ladder, grass, here we go. So you'll see that these are the uh, platforms you can jump through. There's the left one, the middle one, and the right one. This one you'd probably want as a tile object, so you can just um, drag it. <coughs> just make lots of them. So. Let's see. Yeah, uh, I think I'll use just this one. So I'll open it. Okay. Behaviors. We're going to add a behavior here. And the behavior is going to be a platform, just like we did with this one. Uh, but we're going to change it to jump through platform. And so now when we click apply and we just drag it in our scene, I'm just going to turn on the grid here. So show grid. I'm just going to put it about here size here we go now if I click play you'll see we can jump through it it's a bit too high up though I'm just gonna fix that check it down there okay so you can see we can walk through it and we can jump onto it and we can fall off of it so that's pretty cool isn't it of course, if we want it to be behind the player, which you probably will, um, you can see over here is our Z order, <coughs> or Z order, if you're um, American. So, what we want to do is have the player as the most foremost character. So, um, think of this as like a 3D plane, and the Z order 1 is what's at the very back. So, this guy here is at the back. And then it goes to this, which is in front of him, and then this, which is in front of him. And so, if we change this to 1, as well as this to 1, and then change him to 2, to 2 even, yeah. Then we play it. You can see, he now goes in front of it. And so, uh, the higher the Z order, the um, like more in front that sprite will be. It also works with text and child sprites and particles and all of these. So that's pretty cool. So now we're going to add a ladder. So I'm going to make a sprite. No, actually, I'm not going to make a sprite for this one. Because um, I think ladders are just easier to use as a tiled sprite. Purely because you're just going to uh, drag them down to make them like a fit length. And you don't want to just keep on copy and pasting the same square. So I'm just going to call this ladder. And grab an image, uh, tiles, ladder, you can see that here's the top of the ladder, or here's the, oh no wait, here's, here's the top and here's the middle, I'm just going to do the middle for simplicity's sake, then you can have a sprite which has the top of it, and then you can rotate that one, um, 180 degrees to make it the bottom as well if you wanted, so I think that's 32 by 32, it's not 64 by 64. Oops, that's not very good, is it? It's not three <laughs> three thousand two hundred sixty-four, is it? All right, here we go. Actually, it's a little bit bigger. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's not good. All right, well, I'm just gonna do that. It seems like the grid isn't the right size for this. So if I set up the grid, hmm. It seems like the lagger, the the ladder, <laughs> is 
uh, bigger than the grid. So I'm just going to turn off the grid then. Just drag that down to here. You can zoom in by holding down Control or Command and then using the scroll wheel. And then if you're on Windows, you can use the middle mouse button to uh, pan. Or if you're on Mac or Linux, you can hold down the space button and left click to pan. So I'm just going to drag this out a little bit. Just about there. All right. And you can hold shift to um, drag it on a particular axis as well. So I'm going to set the Z order of this to 1 so that it's behind the player. And then I'm going to have the jump through platform uh, at the top here. Just in line with that. Let's, there you go. So now we have a jump through uh, from a ladder. <coughs> yeah. So hopefully this will work, but what we haven't done is put a behavior on the ladder, which we're going to do now. So we're going to go to platform again, and you'll see this third option, which is a ladder. And this makes it just so that the character can just climb up the ladder, climb down the ladder, and everything like that. So if we play it, you can see we can jump on it enough, and now if we climb up the ladder, we can indeed climb up and down the ladder. And then get, get stuck at the top. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to drag this down to the top of the ladder there, and hopefully this will, there you go, right, right at the top of the ladder. <coughs> so what we're going to do now is change the animation of the player so that whenever he's on the ladder going up and down, he's going to change animation. So for this to work, we're just going to add a new animation, we're going to change the uh, sprite of it, so player, and then oh, where is it? It's called climb. So we've got climb one and climb two. It's a mini animation. Okay, so now we've got our climb. That's animation four. We need to remember that. So basically, what happened was something kind of messed up, but don't worry because I fixed it. So to get uh, the player to um, climb the ladder with the animation. So you can see we already have the animation set, we set it to loop and everything. So um, what I've done is this is the same, but when he's not moving, he's got to be on the floor when he's not moving so that it changes this to zero. Because if he wasn't moving on the ladder, then it would change this to zero if we didn't have this. So if he's on the floor and he's not moving, then it would change it to zero. But if he's on the ladder and he's not moving, then it's just going to pause it. So here we just have um, an or. So if any of these is true, and then in here we just have four and. So if both of these are true, uh, then it will change it to four and play the animation. If any of these are true, if both of these are true, if both of these are true. So it's not that that um, complex. It just looks like it, but it's not like that complex. Trust me, it's 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 not that that complex. It's just an or with four ands in it. And then here we just have um, if none of these four are pressed but the player is on the ladder, then it will just pause it. And so now what we have here is a player who looks around, runs around, can jump up stuff and he can climb up and down ladders. As you can see, the animation does pause and play. He can move left and right on it as well. And he flips uh, going left and right as well and he also falls off so yeah that is uh, a make ladders as well as jump through platforms as you can see uh, so yeah hope this was helpful sorry for that minor mishap that was my fault sorry about that but yeah hope you enjoyed it hope this helped you uh, I should be posting a, uh, a bit more now but don't trust what I say, basically. <laughs> but yeah, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try and respond to it as best as I can. All right, cool. Uh, see you next time, I guess.